usually this roadway would be just packed with uh, local cars from Vancouver area heading across the border for fuel which is a much lower price than in uh, British Columbia in Vancouver area South Surrey everybody heads down for groceries and even just for daytime drives but with this coronavirus you can see the roadway is absolutely empty President Donald Trump and Prime Minister Trudeau they've decided that the best interest to shut all the Canadian border crossings into the United States. Totally abandoned. This beautiful park, which is right next to the Peace Arch border as well, is usually full of locals out for an evening, barbecuing, just playing on this beautiful sunny day. Once again, with the closures of the border and the suggestion basically forcing people to stay home as much as possible, social distancing, parks are becoming abandoned, recreation centers have closed, everything is closing down. Here as we approach the, uh, the White Peace Arch, you can see there are people here, everybody wants to see this. There is a good message on it, which I'm gonna show in a moment. And that's why this is so unreal that this these borders have actually been closed. This here is one of the markers which marks the boundary between Canada and the United States. We're real up close to these uh, the peace arches right now. On the top we have the Canadian flag on this on the north side and we have the US flag on the south side. This message within is the one I was mentioning early earlier. May these gates never be closed. With this message here you can see that it's been here a long time. So it's a very sad day that literally these gates have been closed. This here is the the gates back into Canada at the Peace Arch border. As you can see here, it's very, very quiet. 